Hello everybody, today I want to show you a guitar mixing trick that seriously blew my mind. And this one is about turning a single mono guitar signal, one performance, into a fake doubled stereo performance, pan left and right. And the cool thing is, this works without getting any phase issues and while staying completely mono compatible. Sounds amazing, it is. Let me show you how this works. We all record and mix rhythm guitars kind of like the same way in rock and metal. We have a lot of signals in the center of our stereo field. We have the kick, the snare, the vocals, the bass. So we usually double track the rhythm guitars and pen them left and right. And this has several cool effects. First of all, they don't get into too many conflicts with the other tracks in the middle, but this also opens up your mix and makes it sound really wide. And that's why everybody has been doing this for decades. And the problem is, if you only have one guitar, where do you put it? Do you put it in the middle? Then it will constantly fight with all the other tracks and things will sound really mono. Or do you put it to one side, which will make your whole mix slightly shifted? There is no real alternative without any negative consequences. So having a double guitar is just something that works, you know? And don't get me wrong, double tracking is still the best way of getting a great sounding, white sounding guitar performance. We all know that if you just copy the same track and pan it left and right, nothing will happen. It will still sound mono. The reason that things get so wide is that even if we try to play something exactly the same twice, each performance, no matter how tight it is, will have a million small differences. We'll play at a different volume, different dynamics, different pitch, different timing. And even the components you play, the amp, might change, you know, it might heat up or humidity or whatever, you know. So there are always a million small differences making those takes sound different at all times. And that is the, the beautiful complexity of the human performance always being slightly different but giving us the chance to pan something to the left and to the right and creating that illusion of one huge and wide and great sounding guitar performance. And I'm still amazed, I gotta say that, that there's no plugin or no software or no algorithm that can do, that can create a double in a convincing way. You know, we have hyper intelligent plugins uh, doing incredible stuff the denoising algorithms that we use these days, or there's software that can even, you know, separate single instruments from a stereo track, mind blowing stuff, but there's still nothing out there that can, can create convincing doubles. Yeah, you have like plugins, like shitty plugins from Antares and others that might create some vocal doubles or stuff that you can mix in 10%, but there's nothing out there, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I just missed it, that is capable of creating, let's call it a twin brother, of your guitar or vocal performance. So you can mix them equally loud and pen them left and right. And inside my Academy Cola Audio Cult, we have just released a course by Ulf Blomberg, which is called Recording and Mixing Metal Raw and Filthy. And you really wanna check out that course, link below, where Ulf shows us how he recorded a grindcore band live and how he mixed that song. The course includes all the multi-tracks so you can mix it yourself. Sounds really raw and dirty, really, really cool. And he was in a situation where he only had one guitar track. Why? It was a live recording and there's only one guitarist. But again, Ulf also wanted to have you know, a double guitar so he can mix the guitars really wide. And he came up with a really smart trick on how to do this. And what you need for this is a DI track because this trick is all about reamping the guitars. But you know what? It isn't my trick. I've just stolen it from Ulf. And Ulf will now show you how he did this. He will explain to you how this works. This is a snippet from the course inside Cola Audio Call. If you want to see more of that, if you want to mix that song yourself, if you want more Ulf or more Grindcore or more raw and filthy sounding HM2 metal, uh, check out that course. There's a link below or become a member of Cola Audio Cult and get all our courses at once. Okay, now I'll pass it on to Ulf to show us how this works. Enjoy. Guess what? We're now at my favorite part of this course and it's time to reamp some guitars and we're gonna make a single DI track into some really, really nice stereo guitars. 
It's not very often I come across new recording techniques that, that seem like magic to me, but this is definitely one of them. And I learned this trick from my friend Ryan Earnhardt. And the trick, as I said, is to turn a single DI track to something that should sound like a double-tracked stereo guitar. I will try to make a short explanation before I show you some examples. So the basic idea is to first just go ahead as normal, reamp the DI signal through your guitar amp. Then we will reamp it again, but this time we will flip the polarity of the DI signal, run it through the amp, uh, through the speaker, into the microphone, and then in the microphone preamp on the way back, we will flip the polarity again. So we flip the polarity on the way out, the DI signal, flip it, and on the way back, we flip it again. So we're back to normal polarity. But now, because of how the amp works with the signal, the difference between the first and second take is that the, the signal now goes in reverse of the first one. So like every time on the first example, on the first DI signal, you have a positive load on the, on the amp and how it will react and push the speaker out. This time, the amp and the speaker will do the opposite. And that means the character will change because it will be processed differently when it goes through all the components in the amplifier, through the speaker, through the microphone on the way in. And when it finally arrives, even if you're still in the same polarity on the two recorded tracks, the difference is big enough to create a wide stereo of these, but they are still in phase. So you can push them into mono, they won't cancel each other out, it won't create any weird artifacts in the stereo field like some other stereo techniques will. I will show you some of those later too. The result you get here is basically like a double track guitar, but it's not double tracked. It's the same take. So if you are two guitar players, you could do this anyway to beef the performances up. So if you just have a double track guitar, you can make it into a quad track guitar, basically. The positive side here is that when you do this, the take is the same, so everything will be tight. Uh, no differences in like the playing style or anything like that. And while this will work with some plugins, uh, in my experience, it works better with real amps. You can also get like a stereo feeling of a guitar if you reamp it through different amps because, because the amps acts in different ways. So you get a good, pretty good stereo effect anyways. But if you also apply this technique, you can even get an even better stereo image. So I'm going to show you the concept. It's going to turn off, turn on the amp. Uh, so for this reamping session, I'm using my home-built reamp box, uh, super, super cheap, like 20 bucks. I have a video on how I built it, so maybe I can include a link to that too. And yeah, through the HM2 pedal, into the PV Classic, through uh, this Marshall cab, and we have the Soyuz uh, 023 bomblet microphone. And I will dive a little bit deeper into the settings of the HM2 pedal and uh, the PV Classic in the next uh, bonus chapter about the pedal and amp interaction. Yeah, so I have the DI here. We're just gonna reamp it first uh, on the left channel. That's enough. Um, so what we're going to do then is we're going to flip the face on the DI signal. So we have the DI signal out of face, uh, going like backward face <laughs> into the amp. And we're going to listen to that one at the same time. Um, then we're going to flip the polarity again on the microphone preamp on the way back. Um, and what we get then... Yeah, so there we go, listen to those. 
you can hear it, it's in stereo. And uh, you don't get that hollow, uh, out of phase thing. I mean, we can, we can uh, redo it. Um, uh, let's say we just uh, do an out of phase stereo technique, uh, where we have the, the identical uh, two identical tracks, and we flip uh, polarity on one of them. Yeah, you get this. It's not nice. But here. We actually have stereo. So what if we send that through our master bus? If we sum it to mono, there shouldn't be any faith uh, cancellation or issues with this. So fully mono compatible stereo from one guitar. That's fucking amazing. Seriously. <laughs> Um, so this is actually something you can do with plugins too, at least some of them. I tried a few, uh, the effect is not as strong as it is with the real amp uh, from the plugins I've tried it on, but it works. If we zoom in a little bit to those, uh, the waveforms we have from the reamped tracks, you can see, if you compare this and this, it's not the same. And uh, to go back to what I was talking about before, uh, the amp and everything, the whole signal chain reacts differently when it receives the DI signal in the opposite uh, phase or polarity. So this is the, the reamp version. And if I'm gonna show you another, like a semi legit way to make a stereo out of uh, two identical tracks. I mean, I showed it before with just flipping the face uh totally um doesn't really work um let's mute this one duplicate this uh, invert face inversion so here we are again at that First of all, it doesn't sound uh, stereo in a pleasant way. And second of all, if you collapse it to mono, uh, this is what happens. Total silence. So basically useless if uh, you mix like this and anyone would listen to it in like a mono speaker, like a phone or something like that. So the second, like a little bit more legit way to do it is like the, the Haas effect. If you just nudge it a little bit on the timeline, um, let's try 20 milliseconds. And this actually gives uh, a pretty nice stereo effect if you listen to it in stereo. If you collapse it to mono, it will sound just a little bit weird. It sounds metallic um, because it's yeah it's the same same signal so basically it's just a really really short delay um, and when you listen to it in stereo it works but it obviously has some major flaws. But to just go back then to the the project we're actually working on, uh, what I did here is uh, just to get a little bit better stereo spread on it. I flipped the polarity of the DI signal before I reamped it. But since there are also two different amps, uh, we already get a pretty good. Really cool, don't you think? Try this at home, but please remember this works much better with real amps compared to plugins.
There's a lot of things that work better with real amps, by the way. I guess it has to do with how like the real components react to the inverted polarity of the DI signal. I don't know. But you can try this with plugins, but it works better with real amps. One more thing you can try is you can also shift the tracks slightly and that will make it sound even wider. And I actually prefer that. One thing that you lose if you do that is the 100% mono compatibility. Now it depends on how important that is to you, but after reamping the two signals, shift them slightly, play around with a slight delay and you will see you can make things sound even wider. And one more thing, nothing beats a real performance. So if you have the time to play something twice, this is still recommended or three times or four times, but sometimes you might not have the time or whatever, somebody just sends you one track for mixing and there's no way you can re-record something. If you are in a situation like that, this trick is gold. It's just fantastic. It can save your ass. It can save your production because it can, it brings you in a situation where you can mix the guitars normally. You don't have to put one guitar in the middle or put it to one side and make things sound slightly tilted. Yeah, you can get a real stereo uh, double tracked guitar arrangement, even from one single track. Thanks so much to Ulf for showing us this little trick. Uh, Again, it blew my mind. I think it's fantastic. And um, again, if you want to see more, check out the link below. Check out Ulf's course. It's raw and dirty and filthy. It's a lot of fun. Mix that song and, or even better, become a member of Cola Audio Cult because then you will get all our courses. We've got tons and tons of courses from different mentors and from me. And there's a lot of cool stuff to check out. So please click the link below to call Audio Cult. Check it out. Also, lots of multi-tracks in there. Uh, free plug-in, the Rotten Pool Verb, discounts, IRs from Bogren Digital and Lancaster. A lot of cool stuff. And, of course, a nice community. Check out Cola Audio Cult. Check out Ulf's course. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, say hello to your grandma. I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.